Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can automatically hide and show the dock on Mac OS. It's a pretty simple process, but it can be super handy to give you a little bit more screen real estate if you don't need the dock showing at all times. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this should be a nice and short video today. I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, since all the unboxing videos, including the gaming PC build and some other unboxings in there. If you'd like to check those out, definitely look at my channel. Um, there's a whole series uh, of that build. I might leave the playlist linked up in the cards in the description below. But now we're getting back to some tutorial videos. So to automatically hide and show the dock, all you need to do is go down to system settings. And then once you're in system settings, you just need to scroll down until you see desktop and dock and then click on those options. Now, once you're in here, you'll see a very simple option that says automatically hide and show the dock. Now there's a little toggle switch. You can turn that on or off. So by default, it's off. If you'd like to turn it on, what you can do is you can see it hide straight away. And then to access the dock, you need to come down. And then after a second of your mouse being at the bottom, it will come up then you can choose the app you need and then if you move it away, it'll go away again. So you can see that again, you just bring the mouse right down to the bottom, hold it there for like a second, the dock will come up, you can use whatever app you need and then go away and it will take the dock away and hide it for you. So this is great because it just gives you a little bit more screen real estate without having to go into full screen mode all the time. Um, so that's a simple option there. So it's just an on or off switch. So once again, if it's on, you just bring your mouse down and it comes up for you. So definitely a good option if you'd like a little bit more screen real estate. Now I have made previous videos in the past about the some of the other uh, dock settings on Mac OS. So I'll leave that video linked up in the cards and in the description below if you'd like to check that one out. Uh, but today was really focused on this main setting because I thought it was worth making its own video because a lot of people do want to adjust this setting. Um, and it's a really good one just to do to enhance productivity and give you a little bit more screen real estate if you're not having to constantly be switching between apps. If you're someone who needs to switch apps a lot, maybe this setting isn't for you. But if you're just uh, changing apps every so often and you want that little bit more screen real estate, then this can be a great setting. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to automatically hide and show the dock on Mac OS. Hopefully this was helpful and it's given you a good idea on how to do this and whether you might like to do it for yourself. And if you do decide to do it, it may help to enhance productivity. So I really hope it uh, works out well, whichever way you choose. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.